If you've been looking at the Stage 4 kit for your Sportster that Harley-Davidson offers, you've seen the parts list, and you might have noticed down there that it requires an accessory air cleaner, and on the little dyno graph they give you, there's a little asterisk down there that says, with Screaming Eagle, exhaust. There's just a, there's a few other items that they don't, that they don't list on there that you're probably gonna end up needing to purchase. Looking at the parts list, you get the Screaming Eagle ported heads, ported and polished heads. Your cylinders stay the same. You keep the same cylinders. If it's a brand new bike, you probably won't have to change the cylinders. It comes with 10 and a half to one compression pistons, putting new pistons and old cylinders, chances are you're probably going to need new cylinders. New cylinders are, I would say, right around $300 a piece from Harley. In the kit, you get a throttle body, a 58 millimeter throttle body. A 58 millimeter throttle body on a Sportster, it's almost like they're sticking a twin cam throttle body on there. It That, that throttle body, the, the kit's not going to make enough power to make use of that throttle body because the engine's only going to use so much air. And looking at the parts list, it replaces all all four cams back here with the 585 cams, which are really, that's an extremely high lift cam. Now the 585 cam, one thing I've noticed in some other videos where guys have actually put this kit on there is the valve train gets super noisy. I mean, those cams have a, God, they have a hellacious ramp angle on them. I mean, it's loud. It almost sounds like a Ducati dry clutch, but that's kind of typical with any any Sportster cam when you start putting bigger cams in them. Now Hammer makes some good cams that are they have a real nice smooth silent ramp on them so it's not nearly as loud. Now one other thing I noticed that they didn't make any mention of on the stage 4 kit if you have a high performance exhaust or a good set of high performance slip-ons let's say you really are getting up about 90 horsepower they make i mean well 90 to 100 horsepower they make zero mention of the oil pump drive gear the oil pump drive gear on the sportster is steel and when you really start ringing the bike out running the high rpms over time that steel gear tends to develop some sharp edges and when those edges get sharp that means they're getting thin and they can scatter and then basically ruin your motor. They don't make any mention of putting a bronze oil pump drive gear on there. That oil pump drive gear, they put them on Buells, but it never made it into the Sportster because back in the day when Buell was around, they were actually having problems with that drive gear on the Buells, and that's why they switched to a bronze drive gear. But they make absolutely no mention of that for the Sportster in this Stage 4 kit. So with the 58 millimeter throttle body, I haven't found any accessory air cleaners on the market that actually fit that Screaming Eagle throttle body, that 58 millimeter throttle body that comes in this kit. The problem is you're locked into buying Harley's air cleaner. Now, fortunately, I have the air cleaner, the only air cleaner that fits that. So with the 58 millimeter throttle body that comes in the kit, what they don't make very clear is that there's only one air cleaner that'll fit that. This right here is the only style of air cleaner that will fit the 58 millimeter throttle body. This is it, but you can either get it in chrome or black. So you spend $2,200 on this kit and you can't even choose your own air cleaner. From what I can tell, that heavy breather that I just showed you, that's the only one out there that's gonna fit that throttle body. I haven't found an, an aftermarket brand that's not Screaming Eagle that'll fit a 58 millimeter throttle body. Say you wanna use a round style air cleaner, you can't. You have to use this. I mean, you're locked into buying their air cleaner. Aside from the fact that you're locked into an air cleaner and they make no mention of that oil pump drive gear, lifters. They don't make any mention of lifter. They sell the, oh, what are they? The high capacity tappets, the Screaming Eagle high capacity tappets. They're like almost $300. Just by looking at them, I mean, in the advertisement in their books, it just looks like it has larger needle bearings in it. That's it. And they want 200 and I think it was 289 and some change. I don't know. That's that's pretty steep for me. Oh, it gets better. So reading some reviews on the kit, and I didn't even think of this. I did notice that it made no mention of push rods. I'd read a review where a guy had bought the kit and found out that he needed a set of their perfect fit push rods, which is Screaming Eagle, Harley Davidson's adjustable push rod, and they don't come in the kit. Got to get a new set of these guys back here behind these covers. I mean, those aren't terribly expensive, but when you're spending $2,200 on a kit like this, 
I would expect to be able to have everything I need in there. Everything should be included. What they're not making any mention of in there as well, you have to also buy their tuner, the Screaming Eagle Street Performance Tuner, if you want to maintain the warranty. And the Street Performance Tuner, it's not bad. It's an EPA legal tuner, which basically means they're able to modify, or you yourself are able to modify anything with the bike's programming, with the ECM programming, other than the air-fuel ratio. The air-fuel ratio is locked. So they're able to adjust cylinder volumetric efficiency, and they're able to adjust timing, etc., etc. You just cannot mess with the air-fuel ratio. You're stuck at the lean, super lean, EPA mandated air fuel ratios, which it's it's hot. The bikes run super hot. Mine were horrible. If you were to buy the kit for twenty two hundred dollars and then have the dealer install it to maintain the warranty, you're going to have to buy the Screaming Eagle Street Performance Tuner, the Screaming Eagle mufflers, and have everything done at your Harley dealer. So basically, a set of Screaming Eagle mufflers. Just kind of looking at after you buy the mufflers and then you have to buy some end caps for it and then it doesn't come with any heat shields, you do all that, you're well over $500 just on a set of slip-ons. And then I believe another, right around another 300 for the tuner. And then if you need cylinders, there's another $600. And then the push rods, I think those are about $70. I mean, this just keeps going and going and going. And then after you spend by all the, oh yeah, 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 the uh, the air cleaner too. Yeah, that's another, I think I paid 329 for mine, which I've got the stock throttle body on my bike. Well, it's 350 for the kit, for the stage four kit. And then if you pay the dealer to do it, depending on what dealer you have, ah, shoot. They might charge you anywhere from 1500 to $2,000 to do it. But that's, you have to buy all that, do all of that, to maintain your warranty. Now, if you bought the bike brand new and had all this done, I think it's within two months of, uh, I think it's within, yeah, two, about two months after buying the bike, it's covered under your two-year warranty. And if you buy an extended warranty, it'd be covered under that. But if you did all this work to a bike that, to an older bike, went through it, went through their dealership, you only get a one-year warranty on it. Unless you just went out and did it yourself, but I don't know. I. I think I would go to the aftermarket for that. You know, if you were to do it yourself with this kit, you could definitely get it tuned with a Power Vision somewhere. Uh, some there's a lot of Harley dealerships will will tune with Power Vision. That's that's kind of the go-to for most dyno tuners. So guys, that was just a few things that I noticed looking at that kit and kind of doing a little research on it. If you were thinking about it, I hope these were some valid points for you, and. Just something to consider before you know you go throw down your hard-earned money at the harley dealer coming up here pretty soon i've got some maintenance items to do here this bike here we've got to change the oil in it which i'm gonna switch it over to ams oil to see if it actually makes a difference so we're gonna be doing an oil change on this bike and then we're also going to change out primary fluid lube some cables and it's been about uh two years well, this bike's two years old now so it is definitely time to Bleed the brakes. Got to do that on this guy. The old orange one over here. This bike here, we're going to do a brake bleed on it, front and rear. And it's going to get interesting because on this bike, the tire... This should look like the tire on this bike. But the tire on this orange bike... Yeah, she's... She's seen better days. It's time to get a new one on there. So haven't been riding that one too much. But so hopefully we'll be getting out here in the next couple of weeks and I'll be filming, get some other videos ready. And we're going to put uh, we're going to put this Amsoil to the test over here in this white bike. We're going to put it into this one and see if it'll quiet down the motor on this guy like it did my orange one over here. All right, guys, till next time, y'all stay safe out on the streets. It's cold, so bundle up and try to stay warm out there. See you guys next time.